Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Hey everybody, and welcome back to SCDC ENT presents the Age Woman. I am that lady, Miss Nicole, and today I want to talk to you about being an obedient wife. And I know that's like a hard thing, that's a hard subject for us, um, because a lot of times we don't, just the word obedience alone sounds like slavery (laughs) to most women. It sounds like slavery, but it's really not slavery You know what I'm saying? Being obedient is just going with the flow and respecting the authority that goes along in the house, which is the husband. Um, Your husband is the one that the Most High put over you. And, you know, we just have to go with the flow. There's no need to have an attitude about it. And you ladies, once again, if you're not feeling my message, please just don't even just go to the next one I'm sure I got something that I'm talking about that you might not that you might like but I can only speak what I know and I have a a difficult husband (laughs) my husband is mean he doesn't have an edit button he say whatever you want to say and like as a daughter of Zion I have learned to just bite my tongue and just like not and pick my arguments like everything I'm not gonna argue about because I just don't want to like you just get to a point where a person you done been with them so long y'all done said everything that needs to be said and do you actually think that anything that you could say that's gonna change what they think it's not and I'm gonna tell you why right after these messages I'll be right back Hey everybody and welcome back and as I was saying the reason why it really doesn't matter is because you're not going to change a man I mean Kate Michelle basically done told you you can't raise a man and just and you can't change a man you can have some effects on a man and you can actually teach a man some things but a man already who's already in tune with who he is and what he's about is really not going to let you, you know, too much changing. You can try and argue with him and debate the situation and all this, but at the end of the day, like, what is it that you really want? Why are you with him? If you are going to argue and be debated and, I mean, you got with him because you saw something in him that you liked. And unfortunately, you know, whatever it was that you like, you didn't know that he has certain expectations and certain things that he wants you to follow. And you just got to meet them to your the best of your ability. I mean, plain and simple, you know, is that's just everybody house got rules. When you live with your mama, it was rules in her house. When you get your man, it's going to be rules in his house. And it ain't no need to, uh, like, fight the flow you know if he want to run things a certain type of way find a way to be cool with that you know what i'm saying and if he mess it up you know have find a way to support him through that too you know what i'm saying i don't i've i've been with my man for eight years and lord have mercy it's it ain't been fun the whole time you know what i'm saying because it's like i said i'm a down south slow slow wheeling he come from a city fast moving you know city talkers let me tell you more about that right after these messages we'll be right back
Hey, and welcome back. And listen, at the end of the day, is it really worth arguing with your man? Is, is, it, is it even worth arguing about anything that's going on in the house? If you are that unhappy in the house and you are so miserable with how he's having you run things, maybe you need to change yourself and find out how can you be with him and be happy because a lot of times ladies we are stuck on things that just don't even matter at this point and it's more about coming together being a team with your husband and just being able to get past the petty stupid stuff you know what I'm saying we shouldn't be arguing about money because at the end of the day all the money in the house needs to come to the table and be used correctly now if he has issues with finances and it's it's different situations that come up and you have to be able to handle things that come up and you have to be able to develop strategies and I'm really good at that I, I can't sit here and give you every single scenario you know off the top of my head but I'm really good at things like that so if you have issues and you want to talk queen from creation at gmail.com um, you can always hit me up via email and I definitely will respond. I get emails all the time and I'm always here for my sisters. I love you guys and I want to see you do good. And I understand it's a lot of pressure, like coming into the truth, you know, and trying to be a good woman, you know, to your husband and trying to raise kids and trying to come up with a plan. It's very confusing. It's very stressful. And I'm here for you guys, you know, if you need me and if I can't help you, I have like a lot of sisters who are very smart, very intelligent, are wise beyond, you know, in, in different ways. So we all have, you know, good attributes about ourselves. So I can get you some help. You know what I'm saying? But you just have to learn. You just gonna have to put your pride and just forget all that stuff that mama said, all that stuff your friends said. Your relationship is not going to be like the relationship you see on TV is not going to be like the relationship that your mama got, your cousins. It's not going to be that that romantical stuff that you see. It's not going to be any of that. It's just going to be what it, it, whatever it is. However your husband is and however you are, it's just going to be two people coming together, trying to figure out a way to love each other and make the best out of a situation. That's all it is. If y'all are having sex, eating dinner, and you know communicating and talking that's a great relationship it's not supposed to be full of dramatic craziness it's supposed to be quiet god says that he loves a quiet woman you know so you should be quiet and you should be in study and you should be in prayer and you should always be trying to better yourself learn educate teach yourself to be in order and teach yourself to have learn things that you can teach your kids that your moms have never taught you manners you know, respect, honor, you know, how to love their father, how to love themselves. But you have to educate yourself in how to do that. You have to really be that positive person that just speaks positivity. If you see something, you're supposed to say something. But it's got to be with a good vibe and good intent behind it, not being selfish and hateful. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I promise you, if you stop trying to fight every war and battle with your husband, you'll be a lot happier and just let things just do what it do. You know, sometimes you got to let them hit the wall before they realize, hey, we, I'm, I'm messing up and I'm the problem. You know, sometimes you have to let them be the man that they want to be. When my husband has an attitude with me, I, I'm going to tell you straight up, like, I don't go running behind him because especially if I know I didn't offend you in any type of way, if I don't have a problem with you. If I'm not giving off any negative vibes, then I'm not about to keep running behind you, apologizing and going through all kinds of stuff because I didn't do anything. So I'm not going to apologize for something that I didn't do. But if you feel like I, but if you said that I offended you, I will in no wise apologize because that's the type of person I am. If I offend you, I'm going to correct that immediately because that's not my intention. You know, so I want to always, I want to be the person that I say I am. I want to feel a certain type of way and I want to stay in the spirit. And I don't, I'm not in the spirit when I have to argue. I'm not in the spirit when I have to debate. I'm not in the spirit when I have to feel a certain type of way. I'm not in the spirit when I have to entertain other people's feelings. 
and that doesn't make me feel good so I want I want to be the person that I say that I'm going to be and how do I do that by holding myself accountable for my feelings and my emotions and my thoughts in every aspect of my life I take control of who I am at all times and I don't and I'm not perfect because sometimes I might fall victim and might you know just go off on my husband if I see he fussing or whatever you know but I I watch my mouth toward him because I don't want to disrespect him and I want to be a good the good woman that I say that I am I say that I'm if I say that I'm God's goodness then I got to be good to my man and I got to respect him and I got to honor him because that's what the most high expect me to do I'm called here to bring goodness and to be in the in the heal and to be good to my people so first that starts at home with my husband you know and I'm gonna respect him when I'm not gonna go off on him even if he is acting fool if he want to talk smack or whatever you know because he human if you know I, and, and also too come on your mama don't call you some of everything under the sun does it really bother you that much you know I don't really care about what you call me I don't really care about much these days I think it's because I'm like older and I'm in my 40s so I'm like I just really don't give a damn about a lot of stuff and I think if you, some of you young ladies drink some of that Kool-Aid early get some of this I don't give a damn Kool-Aid for me I think that you guys will liberate yourself and allow yourself to grow past this little box that you in a little girlness you got to grow out of that box that petty shit that's that's not even cute pettiness is not cute it's not funny it's just ridiculous because you are a woman and not even that you a daughter of Zion you should hold yourself to a higher standard than just being what everybody else is you know, so you're not going to hear a lot of women say what I say. I talk like I talk because, I mean, I'm just, I, I try to be as open-minded as possible. And I want you to be open-minded and optimistic. But I also want you to hold yourself to a certain level and stick to that. When your husband coming at you talking all crazy, I don't mean that you got to go in on him. You don't have to go in on his moms. None of that. You don't have to argue with anybody it's best to just shut up because not saying anything that's a response to and that's way more powerful and you'll get more respect and you won't regret it in the morning and it'll make you feel good inside and it shows maturity being able to hold your tongue shows maturity and the life and death is in the power of the tongue you can talk yourself into something and talk yourself right back out by running your mouth too much and that's something that we all have to be aware of and be controlled of, in control of so many scriptures about the power of the life about the power of the tongue and the words that we speak the words that we say out our mouth that we can't never take back the words if you you think about once you don't calm down you like damn if i had never said that that this wouldn't have never happened if i would just shut up if i would just shut up so don't have that feeling in order not to have that feeling just don't say nothing because it's not even worth it at the end of the day words don't mean nothing actions speak louder than words a lot of times if we look at our, our the men in our lives and our children and every we judge people based on their actions and not just the words that they say we'll get further with them because you can't just tell me anything i want to see you do it we brought my stepdaughter a guitar for christmas she wanted a guitar and i told her i want to see some songs i don't just want to hear you talk about how much you love the guitar I want to I want to see you work with that show me how you hold it what are you learning about it what are you going to do with that you know so your actions speak louder than your words so your words don't mean nothing so you know it's period and you as a woman a daughter of Zion as a, a, a future spiritual leader of sisters and children and, and nurturers of this world you have to just learn how to just take your feelings, put them bitches in a box and stick them under the bed. Because at the end of the day, don't nobody give a damn about how you feel. Don't nobody give a damn what you think. Don't nobody give a damn what you want. The only person that that shit matters to is you. You are the only person that matters to you. You don't matter to nobody else. Nothing but people who choose to make you matter to them. 
if your husband choose to make you matter to him, you should feel appreciative of that because that's not something that normally people do. If somebody selects to give a damn about you, then you should be appreciative of that and you should let them do that humbly because that's not something that you're owed. That's not something that you deserve. That's something that you earn. And I, I don't I don't know no other way to explain that because nobody never gave me anything. I've had to work for whatever I want my whole life. Okay? And being that I work for, for most of the things that I have, I appreciate anything that somebody does for me. Anything. Because I know that the world don't owe me nothing. And period. The world don't owe me nothing. So anytime somebody take the time out to notice you and want to do something for you, you should feel extremely humble and appreciative and thankful and willing to reciprocate kindness when kindness is showed to you. Because kindness is not optional and it's not common. Real genuine concern about people is not common. So when you get that, you hold on to that, you appreciate that and you reciprocate that especially when it's given to you by your husband. You should be more than willing to bend over and break your neck for him, especially if he go hard for you and your family. And even if he don't, he's the man in your life. Give him all you got, 110 every day. Keep it 100, and God won't bless you. You ain't got to expect anything because this is what our job is. We with these men because we supposed to give them our best. We supposed to nurture them, love them, and respect them, and keep and hold them down. And when we don't do that, we fail them. And that's your only, that's the, one of the greatest gifts you can have. He who findeth the wife findeth the good thing. So if a man findeth me and I'm a good thing, I got to do right by him. Because God can't be a liar. So I just want you sisters to fall back off your emotions and just put that stuff aside and be the bigger person all the time. You don't have to worry about your feelings. When you feel disrespected, put that shit, you're not being disrespected because your respect comes from your behavior that you exude from the most high. That is, that's who you worry about. You want to worry, you want to be his goodness when he's the watching you. You want to always make sure that you're being in behavior and being the name that you gave yourself. The Hebrew name means that that's what you came here to do. So if you're not being the person, that name that you gave yourself, if you're not doing that, then you need to change your name. Because you can't be called Tova. And that, and bringing good, and you supposed to bring goodness, God's goodness, but you just as wicked as you don't know what. That's just too much. That's like Biggie Smalls. You all backwards and forwards and stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, I love you, sisters. And I, some, I know some of this might have went over y'all head, but some of y'all was feeling this. I appreciate it either way. If you don't like it, please hit me up, queenfromcreation at gmail.com. And if you do like it, please hit me up for you from creation at do gmail.com. Um, you can send me an email. Also, I still got my group on Facebook, Sisters in Yahawasha, uh, life group. And I also have my YouTube page, The Age Woman. Um, and that's also Queen from Creation. Uh, Miss Queen minded. That was something from back in the days. You can catch me before, uh, before I came into the truth, I was still putting it down. So <laughs> just stop by there. And uh, like I said, like and subscribe to my YouTube page and follow me. And I got some things coming up, uh, some giveaways and, you know, like and support my channel, guys. I really need your support. And um, I really want to reach out to some of you sisters. And, you know, I love you guys. Shalom.